So this is Bell Geo, and this is the last day of Flight Some Con. This is Sunday evening. The show is basically over, and I'm up here with Eastern Hops. We're all chilling in the lounge, the club lounge on the eighth floor of the hotel. And everybody's been drinking, partying, having a little bit of fun, that kind of thing. So we're just going to look around and see what everybody's doing. And yes, you are alive right now. We are chatting with England right now. So. Oh, a little cross-country chat. members, Cassie, uh, uh, Southern Comfort, she was a DJ. She's a little problem with breast cancer. She's, she's, she's doing better, man. I love her. She's right, right. my sweetheart. Well, let's get back to the whole DJ part. Well, she used to be DJ. She was really? so covered Eastern Hops DJ. Oh, yeah, because we do have our own website, our DJs. Yeah. Uh, our radio station. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little thing, a little uh, 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 app called uh, Tune Tracker. Oh, wow. You take your Tune Tracker and you load it in your system so when you're flying FSX and steam. Yeah, you got a little traveling music. Well, what the thing huh. is, you set your Tom 2 radio to 135. Dot, say 50 is 50% buy it. Yeah. We have DJs to play classic, a rock, country. Uh, Please tell me there's some metal in there somewhere. That guy, man, plays Sinatra at 50. Oh, nice. That man, yeah, he's one of the DJs. <laughs> uh, Bird Dog is a DJ. Pizza's tried some stuff. Right. It's, it's beautiful. You know, it's nice to have a little traveler music. You set yeah, it up exactly. in the background so you can hear it, but it's not interfering with the communications. <laughs> yes. Nice. So, you know, I hope nice. you, you know, try it. So she doesn't do it anymore, or is no, it just been taken over she, by someone no, else? No, she had, she had left the health reasons and stuff. She oh, okay, group, okay, gotcha. You know, and, mm. Uh, so I, I guess we were talking about her and she got her own thing because I, I was like the air voice. Right. We had nice. a little thing. So you're just chit-chatting with her right now, keeping her in the loop and letting her know what she's missing here at Flight Some Con. Yeah, she's got it. My sweetheart, I love you. My Cass. My sweetie, I hope you feel better. I miss you. I miss you, sweetheart. I'll be glad to see you next time. Next time we have another flight simmer connection, we'll get together. That's my daughter. I have to exactly one boy. Say again? Damn, why did you like Why was he born? Oh, okay. What did you say? Does it feel? We couldn't make it. There's a lot of background noise. All right, so we're going to move on here. And Mr. Scooter's chilling on the couch. What's going on? Because that's what he does. He chills on the couch. Occasionally he chills in his wheelchair and then freaks the heck out of people in the elevator talking about it's the miracle of Flight SimCon that he can walk again. <laughs> my yoke I haven't touched yet. Oh, yes. And we got our resident pilot, or one of them, I should say. I've done well. I've done very well, my brother. And then tucked away in the corner is the man of the hour, Mr. Pizza. Hey. So I am really, really curious to know what your opinion is of everything that happened this year. How do you think it went for Eastern Hops in particular? Uh, it was beyond amazing like to you know have 25 guys come and their wives from all over the parts of the world from san diego from uh, vancouver island mm -hmm. all through the states and canada it's just been amazing all the people the media and mm -hmm. now you know the flight sim car is not the same if you were here, of course. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, gotta be good to the media press, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is true. I this know, is true. All the guys enjoyed it. And it was just fantastic, you know. And it's getting so much better every year. This is my third one here. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it just keeps on going up. The, the bar is being raised every year. Well, with that having been said, with that bar having been raised, what do you have in mind for next year? Or have you not even thought that far yet? No, it's 362 days to go. <laughs> there you go. So we're counting the days, but uh, yeah, a little bit. You know, when we get home, we'll do some debriefing and right. And I was talking to Tom, and uh, he wants to hear our feedback, and uh, mm -hmm. and and they're open for feedback. They want to know what's to do for next year and all that. So yes. But uh, I must say that one of the biggest improvements this year was having the Uva app. That stepped it up. That was a major thing. Yeah, that really, kept me more on schedule than yeah. anything else. It, it just kept everything on the flow and you get to, you met more people and all right. that and it was just amazing yes yeah that's one of the things that i noticed um, a lot of people were sending me connections through the hoover app and whatnot 
So have you found that your, um, I guess, body count or your, your member count has gone up because of that? When we get home, we'll see the registrations on the websites and all that. A lot of people want to nice. register. And uh, the best thing that we, I was saying to the guys is come into our team speak. Mm -hmm. Easternops.com. There you go. And, you know, just come in, see the field, see what we have to offer. And then if you want us to stick around, you can register on the website. And mm -hmm. that's so we don't, you know, we're here as a family. Right. We, we, you know, we're a flight, we're a flight uh, group, flight club. So, uh, yes. Club, so that's what we do. Good, yeah. Not to be confused with United's Fight Club. Yeah, we're not a fight club, yeah. Flight. Flight, exactly. Thank you. But that, honestly, I think that's probably the most beautiful thing about this group that I have at least enjoyed is the camaraderie from day one since I got here. I've been treated like family, even got an honorary t shirt and the whole nine yards and whatnot. And it's just been amazing. The flight that I took this morning, I can't stop raving about. And that was an Eastern Hops you member. That was Pack Rat. from ear to ear with a Facebook post. Oh, my God. It was amazing. So, yes, I've had an extremely good time. world and back again. Uh, yes, most definitely. Most definitely. So, when are you guys going to be heading out? Tomorrow? Uh, a lot of the guys have left today. Okay. And most of them would be leaving tomorrow. Like, through the night, there's all different flights and all that. So, okay. I say by tomorrow, 4 o'clock, they'll, they'll all be going back home. And when does everything get back to, I guess, business as usual? You so know, like Cessna Sundays and whatnot? 48 hours sleep. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes. That makes sense. All right. So, um, the events, I know you were running through the events with me the various weekly events can you want to just give the audience a, yeah, an idea so of what they can do uh, with our flight sim community uh, we like we like to call it as an intermediate we where we want to see a lot of the newcomers come mm -hmm. in and where we uh, have awesome support for to help them to set up their, their equipment if they're look they want to know what kind of uh, computer to get right you know if they have a little lower end and they want to get a little better um, setting up their sticks or what to get for you know for flight equipment Mm -hmm. uh, and then and then we just start teaching them things like you know the touch and goes with the Cessna we get them small you know small get the touch and goes and all that mm -hmm. our community is an airport hop environment where we, we start at one airport and it just takes one person to come into Teen Speak. We, we run our communications through Teen Speak. For right, me. right. And uh, so one guy will be in there and say, okay, guys, I'm going to Toronto to Hartford. And it's okay, we're coming too. And then as we get flying, then another person will come in. Where can I spawn at? So right. we got customized planes with the, with the ATC radar in. <laughs> and so we can just bring up that, with, we can bring up that radar. Uh -huh. We can see where the which way we're flying and, and say, okay, drop in a lot of water, whatever, you know, yeah, and, join yeah. in and then join in the flight. Like, so we can have two, three, four starting, and then all of a sudden you, you got 20. Wow. She's going to get her pants off. He's going to love this. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> So All right, so let's try that again. So you were saying as far as the actual days that stuff happens. Yeah, so uh, now uh, we have two uh, servers on the Steam community. Mm -hmm. One's the community where all the youngsters, and that it's a, more like a free flight. Right, so they right. They go in and fly around, and they don't, you know, it's 24-7. And then our other server is the group event members kind of thing, where mm -hmm. people that are in T-Speak will go on that server. And then uh, we have the server set days, which is, uh, so on Wednesdays we'll do a King Air 350. Right. We have a modified King Air that we've customized for better flight dynamics. Mm -hmm. And it's got mm -hmm. a little bit of eye candy and a little bit of stuff that helps the, the flight along. Uh, so we'll do like 180 mile hops or what, 200 mile hops. And it's more like you know, get in the flight, get down, touch yeah, down, yeah. and take off. And then someday we have a couple ATC guys who will come in, and our, our ATC is more to help with the terminology and let right. like you get used to it. Just to get you comfortable. There's so many people that yeah. have gone into a server and, and they, they want you to know what's going on. Mm. Our community is more teaching, helping out, and a family. You right. Know, you know, so then uh, like then we have the Thunder Thursdays where I'll uh, put a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, <laughs> yeah. and nice rain, so right. beautiful conditions. Practice your IFR, basically. Right, yeah. Okay. And then we have the Foggy Friday. So, oh, my God, it gets even worse. Yeah, this is the edge of your seat, nail biting. Uh, I think uh, we made it or not, that uh, kind of flight. It's really interesting. Uh, we'll have mile visibility. Mm -hmm. Winds are usually set 240, 5 to 15, guys. Wow. Yeah, and it's, it's fun. And we'll have so 
wait, 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 wait. What are you actually flying in this kind of weather? Sevens. Okay. We'll get into the, the commercial jets there. Yeah, yeah. yeah we get into the commercial jets. I, didn't I was going to say, anywhere. there's no way in hell you're taking a Cessna yeah, through that. No. We, we've tried it a few times, and it's pretty fun when you get the, the Cessna up, and it won't go nowhere. It's not going or anywhere. Or when you try to turn, it flips over. Nah, it just doesn't look that good. But, uh, but we, it's been done. Okay. Um, but uh, let's see here. Uh, so yeah, so um, Foggy Fridays. And uh, so that helps out with the ILS system and all mm -hmm. that. And then, like on a Monday and Tuesday, we'll we'll do a lot of side training. Gotcha. If they don't know how to use the uh, the instrument landing system. Yeah. And the GPS. A lot of people get confused. They think the GPS is a part of the ILS, but where's right? You know, it's GPS, a separate entity. A to B, yeah. And then you'll do some you know you'll do some headings to get around mm -hmm. the airport. Then you activate. And then you get the your ILS and everything. And right. That. That's where we help. Uh, I'm very fortunate. A lot of the guys help a lot with the, you know the, the training and all that i've noticed that yeah, yeah just we, in the weekend everybody's been extremely helpful and it was the same thing last year you know it's like everybody knows their stuff and everybody's willing to help out and just talk to you about well, subjects you know, that you like, might not like know that much for 10 years mm -hmm. uh, 11 years technically oh wow and the last since, uh, since last year july 5th is when we went fully to the steam platform nice the fs16 platform so then on saturdays we'll do atc uh, again atc is more or less to help you out. we'll give you vectors to mm -hmm. final and all that and if, and if the person comes in i'm going to do the romeo transition the atc will click in and say okay he knows the stuff right and we'll give him full you know the full speed yeah the full monty and you exactly. do it from there and right. then sunday is our special event that's the one that's been going for is it called the cesta sunday that's the sunday we'll, uh, yes we'll lock down the room We'll have a password for it, mm -hmm. and which is posted in the description. But you know how a lot of people don't read the description. But Usually, it's no. there. Only Cessna had to come right. in. It kind of, kind of, you know, it kind of admins the room a little easier. So you'll come mm -hmm. in with a Cessna 172 default, which we have customized <laughs> uh, with a lot of goodies and uh, custom textures, right, right. our own logo on it. And then a uh, good feature about it is we do have each person can have their own textures and all that. Oh, and, nice. Uh, our next uh, texture drive is coming up soon, and I, 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 I have a feeling that we're going to have a Bodeo or Bodego uh, hat on there and one of them wings, <laughs> one of them tails. I know it. I know it. So, uh, yeah. So, I would be looking forward to that. Yeah, I'd so love to see the purple the hat on there. Like today, uh, we had 15, 20 people on the server flying. Mm. And, uh, you know, we can have, like, the old, when we had the box version, right. we had six, our, our biggest one was 65 planes. 65 planes. On one Seven server. Flying, yeah. Wow. It was amazing. You have to have wow. patience. But a good 25, 30 is good. And mm -hmm. we'll have about, you know, back, to, you know, even now, we'll have about 150, 200 people come in the whole Sunday, come yeah. in, do Just a couple flights. Come in, fly, yeah, and they're out. Leave, yeah. So wow, that's that actually really sounds up cool. Again, and then we're really looking forward to. And a lot of people we talked to here this the Flight Sim Con mm. so is going to come check it out. So uh, oh, we're looking very forward nice. to that. Yeah. yeah, that's actually going to be awesome. Well, I tell you what, thank you so much for all that information because, honestly, that's the kind of stuff that I wanted to share with the public. I wanted to make sure that they understand that groups like Eastern Hops do exist and have been for quite some time. And quite frankly, it's worth their time to actually look into because yeah. this is the kind of community environment that you want to foster basically it's a, it's a group where we want no intimidation you come in for yeah. fun and it's a it's a big family hmm? and uh like you know you can go under the uh, and they have drinks uh, there you go <laughs> you know, um yeah and like you can come on the website check out the website. it's uh, easternhops.com check hmm. out our forums but mostly come into the team speak channel that's where you right. can talk to us talk to ts3 dot easternhops.com Sounds good and, to uh, me. We're looking for you to join us because this is the place to be. I've and given you my you word. I will be there. I will thank be there. <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> and here we go with the drinks already. What are you drinking? Um, what are the options? Well, I don't know. Whatever, I, I, I just ask the lady. Oh, whiskey. well, yeah, I'll go with whiskey. beer. I'm good. Yeah. All righty, folks. So, yes, this is Belgio, and I'm going to be hanging out with Eastern Hops, and it's something tells me it's going to be a really fun night tonight. So... And that is exactly what we did. We partied with Eastern Hops and a few select others that were still hanging on and had to leave on Monday. To say it was a fun time is a complete understatement. I love those guys. By the time Monday morning rolled around, the reality hit me that I had to head back home and I was one of the last people standing at Flight SimCon. Amy from Dovetail Games had already left for LA so that she could present at E3. 
Mr. Novowing 24, I got to say goodbye to him that morning as he was on his way to Colorado to continue his American adventure, and Mr. Flightsome Guy had to leave later on in the morning. Of course, I was still there until 6 o'clock p.m. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bell Gild, and this is our wrap-up video for Flight SimCon. It is the Monday after Flight SimCon, and to be honest with you, most everyone has already left. Uh, if we look off to this side, uh, that's where the aircraft was that I took up yesterday. That is now gone. He has headed home to Virginia. Nova Wing 24 left this morning. He's currently in Chicago. He checked in in Chicago earlier. Amy from Dovetail is probably halfway to Ireland right now, and the rest of her crew is still currently downstairs in the restaurant. And Flight Sim Guy is going to be popping out of that jet bridge, number 20, any moment to hop in this little puddle jumper to head over to Newark on his way back to Ohio. I did hear from uh, Lord Balder and some of the other folks that I've been hanging out this weekend, in particular the Eastern Hops guys. Pretty much everybody is either en route right now or at a layover waiting to get on their next flight to their final destination. But as for me, well, I'm still here at Bradley waiting for my videos to finish editing. So as soon as all of that stuff is done, I'm going to check out of the hotel around noon. My flight doesn't leave. Connecticut until uh, 6 30 ish so I will be hanging out till then and then we'll hop on the plane and it'll be a night flight back to Pittsburgh by way of Detroit so yeah I just wanted to give a huge shout out to all of the people that I met whether you were a fan who or viewer who came up and you know said hi I had a number of you explain to me that part of the reason why you even decided to come to Flight SimCon was because of the video that I did last year and honestly that made me feel really humbled and I thank you so much for that. I'm glad to know that I was able to make a little bit of a difference and even the uh, gentleman and his son that I met at the museum when I was taking footage of the helicopters. Thank you so much for taking, you know, time out to actually chit chat with me. And I'm glad that you all recognized me. And I'm really glad to hear that your son is into aviation. That's the kind of stuff that makes all of this worthwhile. I certainly do not do it for the money. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see if I can stalk Mr. Flight Sim guy down there. I know he should be popping out any minute. I forget what shirt he was wearing. I think he was wearing a yellow shirt. So we should see him come out the jet bridge any moment. I'll try to zoom in a little bit here, but my phone isn't exactly the best, or at least it's not nearly as good as his phone. So, yeah, we'll do that. And we'll see if we can zoom it in right there. All right, so if he comes out of that jet bridge, which most, most likely he will, we will see him. Developers, all the developers that I had the opportunity to meet and talk to, give my business cards to, we'll be getting in touch at some point in time really, really soon because I'd really love to show off a lot of your products, um, especially all the ones that are doing the, the VR-related stuff. I'm pretty much convinced. I'm either going to get an Oculus Rift or an HTC Vive, but one of the two is happening this year. I can't take it anymore. I can't keep doing this VR demo and not have one of my own. It's got to be a thing. And then, of course, to the folks that put together Flight SimCon, all the people in the staff, the lovely people in the hotel, Manny, the shuttle driver, my best buddy right there, Cindy in the bar, uh, Nicole, Evan, and all the other folks that put together the actual Flight SimCon event, and Peg with the uh, hotel staff that uh, just did an absolutely phenomenal job. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. It has been my pleasure to be in this vicinity, in this location, and I cannot wait to come back. I'm going to be thinking about Flight SimCon and Bradley Airport in Connecticut for like the next year now. So yes, this should be awesome. Let's take a quick look at Spirit here. I'll keep an eye on that jet bridge to see if Mr. Flight Sim guy comes out. And I guess my takeaway from this year, um, Things notwithstanding with Lockheed Martin, because I still, to this day, have not figured out why they were here. I'm sure they have their reasons, but I didn't get it. But the things to take away, Dovetail Games is not going to be a short-lived thing. I really don't, and I hope I don't end up eating my words at some point in time. But I have a lot of faith in those guys. I think it's going to be a while 
until the sim is in a place where you know we can consider it as a, a top line sim but let's not forget it is ultimately based on fsx and if they can incorporate all the new tech that they've been talking about then it's going to be a pretty short time for all our add-on people to get on board and they did clarify that whole add-on situation it's not nearly as bleak and dire as you know people were speculating and spreading on the internet so you all can stop that now they actually do plan on having add-on third-party developers do their own thing and with their blessing so we'll go into more detail as more details come out but yeah, there's uh, Dovetail and everything that they're doing, which, like I said, I'm a believer, and I'm going to support them. I'm going to continue to support them. I want to see them succeed, and I think everybody else should have the same attitude, because if they do succeed, guess what? It's going to be one kick-ass sim once this thing can officially be considered released. I want to get on the ground floor of that. I don't know about you all, but I want to be on the ground floor of that. And then, of course, X-Plane. Well, what can I say about X-Plane? It is the darling when it comes to helicopters and so on and so forth. And just having a chance to see some of the emerging technology that they're doing, they're writing their own VR, they're updating the traffic, the ATC, and all of that good stuff. This is going to be an exciting time for X-Plane, so don't sell them short either. I'm pretty sure that everything that they're going to have coming out for the rest of the year is going to be pretty darn impressive. So stay really closely tuned to everything that Laminar Research has to say. That's going to be good, too. And I don't know if we missed Flight Sim Guy. I don't think they're closing the door just yet. Pretty sure he's supposed to come out of that jet bridge there. He just, uh, he just sent me an IM saying he was coming out. Hmm. But I do see the gas guy right next to him there. So, hey, you want to see gas? That was for Austin, because I know you're watching. All right, and yes, um, for everybody that could not make it here, that you know really doesn't have the resources to do this sort of thing, between Flight Sim Guy and myself, we basically discovered that, yeah, somebody really needs to get on the ball with uh, getting things out quickly, and especially in a live stream format and whatever. That was a huge success for his channel. So I'm going to give a thank you to all of you who tuned in to Flight Sim Guy's channel and watch the live streams that he had put up because that man needs some more subs and yeah, you did him a really, really huge favor and he was tickled pink to see his subscriber list almost double in the weekend. So that was good, that was really good. I'm seeing a flight attendant down there. Look at me, I'm like stalker cat up here. Stalk in your dash eight. Okay, uh, it's me again, and yes, it looks like he already boarded while we were chit-chatting, so hopefully I got him on video there. If not, I'm sure he'll tell me. I'm sure he can point himself out on a video. But yeah, he is in that little teeny tiny Dash 8, and he's going to be pushing off in a moment. But I do not plan on having the video going for much longer because there is a problem currently with the AC unit in this room. It is getting hot, and I need to check out in a little over an hour, so I still have to shower and everything else, and pack up everything on my way out of the room. So we'll take a last look. Uh, what we're looking at there should be the uh, southbound runway. I want to say that is runway 24. And you can see the yellow spirit that we watched uh, push off from the gate earlier. And we've got uh, some regional action coming in with United. And look at that. There's that Learjet. I saw that guy yesterday too. Huh. They also have a Falcon here, which x is like the, um, I guess, one of the few sims that has one. I'm pretty sure they have one for FSX, but I'm not sure the quality of it. But the x one is really good. I've been meaning to show that one off to you, so when I get home, that's on the list of things to do. And there goes Spirit on runway 24. I've got to say, after my uh, Cessna flight yesterday... I'm not as afraid of, you know, what the tower does and what the tower says anymore because they're actually really friendly. A lot more friendly than Vatsim, but don't tell Vatsim I said that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Vatsim, it really isn't all that bad. But just hearing the, the ATC actually talk to our aircraft as we were, you know, taxiing around and then subsequently when we were back on approach and whatnot, it's really cool. It is really cool, and it's actually a lot easier to communicate than I thought. So, there you go. 
It's not as fear inducing as you might think. All right. Um, I don't know if these guys are going to push back anytime in the near future. But like I said, I'm going to want to take a shower and I'm putting fingerprints all over this window. So, yeah, that, that's a problem. Okay, so at this point, I guess I'm just going to sign off. And I want to thank you again for, you know, supporting my channel and supporting all of us YouTubers' channels. And I highly recommend that everybody that I've mentioned and everyone that you'll see in the video description, go ahead and give them a follow. Give them a like for, you know, the content that they do that you enjoy. And definitely give them some support there. Because, honestly, this thing can be a bit like work. And I don't think any of us are getting paid oodles of dollars to, to do all of this stuff. We really just do it for the love of flight simming. For the love of aviation. So, we really do appreciate your support. And, as always, if you have any uh, ideas and comments and whatnot, feel free to leave them. Just be respectful, as always. So far, most of you have been doing a really good job with that, so I appreciate you. And for those of you who are going to be coming out to Flight SimCon next year, I will see you there. Same deal as last time. First drink is on me. And for those of you who cannot make it to Flight SimCon next year, I promise you we'll have some live streaming and video going, and hopefully I won't have to use my cell phone to do all of these recordings. I might actually have a real honest-to-goodness camera. Alrighty, folks, but as uh, Mr. Flight Sim Guy's aircraft starts up, I am going to tell you all goodbye. So thank you as always. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. This has been Bell Geode, and I am signing out from Flight Sim Con. I'll see you back in Pittsburgh in the cockpit. Ciao!